Hi everyone, it's Kelsey. Today I'm going to start the much requested audition advice series. And I'm going to start with one of the big criteria that you need to consider when picking your summer intensive is what is your price point? That'll really narrow it down because um, there's summer intensives that, well, local small ones that you could probably just pick certain classes that you want to go to that could be very inexpensive that can rain and also there's some more professional uh, summer intensives that can go up to like over five thousand dollars the range is crazy so you really need to decide what your price point is if you want to go to like a professional summer intensive that you expect to go away for for um, a long amount of time uh, you probably expect to pay um, a couple thousand dollars but um, if you're looking for a local summer, you can expect that the prices are going to be much different. And go on all of the companies uh, that you're considering, websites, um, and they'll probably have the tuition and board uh, fees listed on their website. And also along with the prices, you uh, need to expect that whatever the tuition and board costs are, of course there's more prices uh, or more costs than that. If you need airfare, even if you're just driving the gas, uh, depending on how far away it is, that might be a factor. And um, just anything, you know that you're probably going to go camp shopping and all of that before. So there are a lot of costs added to just tuition and board. So you need to consider that as well. And also another thing that um, the price goes hand in hand with is how long do you want to be away from home for. Uh, it could be anywhere, you could maybe two, the minimum is two weeks all the way up to some intensives offer programs that are um, six weeks but I have heard of even eight weeks. I know it seems crazy but you know it's out there. So you need to decide what you're comfortable with uh, and also like how far away from home that might affect uh, how long you want to stay as well. If it's your first summer intensive away from home um, you might want to go for something that's more like two or three weeks, maybe a month if you're really like wanting to go away somewhere. And also if homesickness doesn't bother you. It really depends on what you want, but if you're just starting the whole summer intensive thing, I would go with a shorter program. And if you have tried it out before and really liked it and want um, even more in a longer program, uh, you might be ready for the four, five, or six week, maybe even seven or eight week program. It really depends on uh, how long you want to stay away from home. Another major factor is what is your skill level? And I know this is kind of tricky um, because you might want to go to a professional program, but maybe you're not ready yet. Um, if you are just starting ballet, maybe like you've done ballet for a year or something, uh, you might want to look into a smaller, maybe local program, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I went to local programs for years before I finally went to a summer intensive, and I'm considered kind of like late for starting summer intensives. I um, started my first summer intensive at 14. Some people started at like, I've heard of even 9 years old, but probably 12 or 13. So if you've been doing ballet for a year, you probably want to do a more local, smaller summer intensive, and there are so many options, I'm sure. Uh, if you just look and Google's your best friend, um, there probably are some local studios in your area or maybe a little drive away that um, you could try going to your studio that you go to, or if you want kind of uh, something a little more intense school, I guess. Um, there probably there are some studios that are a little bit of a median in between the small local studio and the professional summer intensive. I've also done that. I've driven to other cities to take um, from other studios. You don't have to go to something like SAB or PNB or something like that. One of those big programs. It's totally fine to go to a local summer intensive, and it's it might be the best option for your skill. But level. if you are maybe 13 or 14 and above all the way up to like 18 and I think they're except some programs uh, will accept 19 year olds um, then maybe you're ready for a uh, professional summer intensive and if you've been doing ballet for probably uh, over three years but some people uh, well most people that go to those programs have been doing it for a lot longer than that but if you've only been doing it for 
uh, two or three years and you're younger, that's totally fine. Um, and don't worry about it. If the summer intensive accepts you, then you know that they believe in you and they think that you could benefit from the program. So that's all that matters. Another thing is not just how long you've been doing ballet. It's you need to consider how long you've been doing point and how much point experience you have. To go to like one of the big name summer intensives like, um, I don't know, Houston Ballet or San Francisco Ballet, Pacific Northwest Ballet, stuff like that. You need to probably have, um, uh, if you're younger, you could have uh, two or more years, maybe a year, but if you've did, been doing ballet a lot longer than that. Um, if you're older, probably more than two or three. Um, so that's also another really big thing to consider because you need to have a lot of point experience to go to a um, bigger name summer intensive but of course if you're going for more of the uh, studio or local studio route then they'll probably help you if you're more of a beginner with that it's totally fine so uh, just keep in mind if you want to audition for one of the uh, more well-known longer and like more professional programs then you probably want to have uh, quite a few years of point experience and also when considering like your skill level before choosing a summer intensive, I wouldn't, if you're just starting in ballet or like you've been doing it for only maybe less than two years, uh, I wouldn't recommend auditioning just to a ton of places or like to the big summer intensive uh, auditions just because um, I used to want to do that but some a teacher told me it's not good to just hear no. It's not beneficial. You don't really get much out of it, even though you might think that you do. Oh, it's a good experience just auditioning for a whole bunch of places. It actually isn't in the end because it can be discouraging and uh, it is a very overwhelming experience. It's important to consider your skill level before jumping into really big auditions. Once you have considered how much you're willing to pay, how long, you want to go and what your skill level is. One of the last deciding factors is what is your style. As you may know, there are different styles of ballet. There's um, Chiquetti, Balanchine is a big one. Um, and then I'm trained in like more English style, which is uh, just more classic and basic. And um, there's many more styles that I can't name off the top of my head right now. So it now. is very important to decide what style is your favorite, what style you are trained in now and how it is going if you want to continue training that way during the summer or if you want to try something new and how uh, if you can handle uh, transitioning styles because it is very difficult and especially if you want to become a professional dancer look at what your dream companies are um, what styles they have so you could be trained in the styles you want to go into as a professional dancer. So balancing versus, you know, just classical is a very big, um, you know, controversy. If you want to be trained in balancing, uh, you can go to the big programs are School of American Ballet, SAB, um, PNB, which is Pacific North, uh, Northwest Ballet, uh, Miami City Ballet, um, there are smaller ones, and uh, San Francisco is like semi balancing. It's not like full on all the way. Um, it's more of like modified balancing. Um, there's many different ones, and there are even local studios and smaller studios that train in balancing as well. It's not just like a bigger company thing. And the more classical ones are um, ABT, Houston Ballet. Uh, ah, why can't I think of other ones? I don't know. There's many, many to choose from on the classical side as well. So that is a big deciding factor to think about. So finally, after you have decided on all of those factors, you need to most importantly decide, can you go to that audition? What are the dates? Um, how much does the audition cost? What you need, you need to look at the audition tour for the summer intensive you want to go to and see if it comes to a city near you and if you could get to that city on a certain date that they can come. Sorry, I know this was a very long video, but it's I had a lot to talk about on this topic. So I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye!